loving and taking care of yourselves welcome to yet another vloggy vlog yes again your girl is late like today i don't even i don't know i'm like i'm just beyond it like i've just accepted it because where i'm going is actually an entire hour away we're going to pretoria for a fashion week activation that's being sponsored by l'oreal so i was actually invited by l'oreal and i immediately called ona like oh no you're gonna be there and she said yes so i cannot wait to see her because i actually haven't seen her the whole year and like to congratulate her on her apartment oh my goodness i am so proud of the girlies guys the girlies are getting apartments the girlies are getting cars like i absolutely love it you know i've accepted it so much that i haven't even requested my uber like other times when i'm late i request and then i come and i'm like okay let me come tell the coffee beans while you know it's finding a driver but today i've accepted it so much to a point where i haven't even requested yet i'm gonna request now and then let's go to Pretoria. Oh yeah, and a quick rundown of my outfit. I'm wearing these pants, these white pants from Fashini. This denim top from Shein. Some rings. I have a red lip on. Like I'm warming up to my lipstick. And because your girlie still has those braids. I, I'm telling you, this is the vlog where... <laughs> I'm gonna change my braids. This is the vlog where I'm gonna change my braids But because I still have these scary ass braids, I had to put on a head wrap. And I'm wearing like some black pointy heels from Zara which were actually passed down by my cousin but I think I'm gonna carry an Aldo bag just because um, the activation is actually at the mall and I'm wearing heels and I want um, to have flats as backup and also I'm taking my camera so I just wanna just wanna carry a big bag so I will be carrying a tote and since it's just an activation and not like fashion week fashion week then um, you know I love how I balanced out my outfit with some casualness because there's just something so uh -uh about walking in the mall with heels. That's why I'm like, okay, let me just pack my flats. But without wasting any more time, besties, let's go to Pretoria.
nine and I'm literally just getting home now. Like how insane and so funny because at Wooden Fire when I initially got there, I was looking at the time and I'm like, okay, I'm going to sit, we're going to have eat and have drinks and like by 6 p.m. I need to request so that I'm home by 7. Tell me why it's half nine. Tell me why it's half nine and it's so funny because leading up to the time of actually requesting, um, like we kept, would start like another topic and be like, okay, no, 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 we'll go home now. I just want to say this thing. And I just want to say this thing. I just want to, you know, like literally just kept talking, like we kept talking and talking all to say, I love that girlie so much. Like, um, I just feel like with certain creators, right? I feel like I've had a front row seat to their journeys and like everything God has done in their lives. And like she's just one of the people who I just look at and I just see God working so mighty, so mightily, and it just leaves me in awe, you know. So um, that was beautiful. That was amazing. Um, I actually did go for the Fashion Week event. The problem is I got there like five minutes late. And everything was so quick. So before your girl could even like, you know, settle down to say, let me take out my camera and record, it was over. And as soon as it was over, all the stalls, everybody packed. P people were like leaving. I think they had packed, they had been packing before. So as soon as the last girly walked off stage, everybody just picked up their things and left. And because it was in the mall also. So I was like, hey um let's just do lunch then because like i came all this way and um yeah like we're already here and pretoria is just so far but pretoria is also so laid back oh my goodness tell me why the uber driver when he was dropping me off i'm like is a mall closed <laughs> and he's like no this is just pretoria like there's just no one here i said that is crazy it is giving botswana literally but i had such a beautiful evening and um received a few convictions um this is not even this is outside of the conversations i had with her but then um i've just been thinking about how scared i i have always been um i think over the past year or two years of like making friendships and i saw one this other creator made a reel about how daunting it is to make friendships and i think zizi also spoke about it in her vlogs i just she just spoke about friendships and i think the topic because of that the topic has just been echoing in my mind because last year i told myself i don't want to make any friends and it's so funny because after the sober the sobriety reel you know i had a couple of people like oh i want to shoot my friendship shot and i was just thinking like yo the way i told myself beginning of the year that no new friends <laughs> And it's such a sad way to live life because truly we haven't met everybody who's going to love us. We haven't met everyone who's going to impart, you know, something onto us. We haven't met everybody who's going to impact us, who's going to, you know, have an effect, a positive effect on their lives. So who am I to shut that door? And I mean, God has called us to a life of abundance. So... I just think I have honestly let my friendship trauma get the better of me. Um, I have like no interest. Like it got so bad to a point where I had no interest to even know, <laughs> get to know anyone. Like, and when I say, I mean, I'm fully talking about friendships, like on a platonic level. Like I didn't even want to know like what your name is, what your story is. And God has just been laughing in my face because let me tell you something. I have met the most amazing women and spend time and build relationships even some of the people who are already in my life like all small stuff and tati like you know they were in my life but then definitely not to the degree in which they're in my life now if that makes sense like i don't know man like i just i feel i see myself fostering deeper relationships and it's something i told myself last year that i was not going to do as a protection mechanism as a coping mechanism i'm like i don't want to find out about anyone so i just think it's so beautiful that god continues to um place such amazing women in my life to show me that like you know, you need to deregister every negative experience you've ever had and allow yourself to experience new things, allow yourself to experience new people. And I think that's the phase I'm in now because I hate forced things. I hate, like, I, I don't like friendship shots being thrown or being received like i'm not that person i'm not a person who will meet someone the first time and immediately be like yeah we should do large like <laughs> you know in 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 not love is blind what's this netflix show 
with the selling sunset when Bree's like, I'm not a nice ass bitch. <laughs> I'm please, please, no, no, not not to that degree. But then I understood her to say, you know, when you first meet someone, I'm not someone who jumps to say, Yay! Like in as much as I know I'm like, hey Bessie, hey Bessie, but then I'm not like I don't jump to relations. I'm someone who likes things to happen organically. I don't like the fake stuff because I've even realized like with fostering our friendships, right? There's no one way to do this friendship thing right but then i feel like sometimes the quicker something is made the quicker it, it it falls apart i don't know if that makes sense so i just love a natural like where nothing feels forced like there's certain people who have always been in my life but then like only because we started to be intentional with our relation it starts to to just grow organically like i don't really believe in like hey i want to be your friend no i don't i don't believe in that i don't know i just believe in organic natural things and i love that i've been opening myself to that now as opposed to last year when i said leave me alone everybody like nobody talked to me and um yeah no that was beautiful like i just can't wait to continue meeting all the people that God has willed to be in my life, you know, and um, yeah, just thought that was crazy. That was just me oversharing. That was just 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 brain vomit. But I had such a beautiful day. But now I'm gonna take off my makeup and untie this hair because I tied it so tight. Ask me why? I do not know. But then I'll see you tomorrow, besties. There is a whole lot going on. First of all, it's been a couple of few days since the last time I saw you guys because I actually wasn't feeling too good. So I had to go to the doctor and spend some time in bed recuperating. So today I woke up and I'm like, okay, today's the day, today's the day I get back on my Zoom. Tell me why I got out of bed, hopped into the shower and crawled right back into bed because my body was just saying no. So I had to listen to my body. But then with regards to unpacking what's been going on <laughs> and the sickness um i had actually planned to do that while taking down my hair because under the scarf is this he giving i could pull a white man like it is scary it is so scary under the scarf but then um i want to film a reel and i also want to watch a sermon so i think we'll get into that tomorrow sometime tomorrow um and also i don't want to waste time because i know once i start doing a whole hundred thousand different things i'm gonna take that time doing my hair and i really need to get these braids down because the hair appointment is like first thing tomorrow morning but then before i started to take down my hair i decided let me come and show you guys a little something so when i did go to the doctor i somehow stumbled upon crystal mall and we all know crystal mall has cool books and we all know as a sulky princess, I cannot go to the go to a mall with cream books and not just enter. And I've been wanting an A5 notebook because I feel like the Bible course I'm currently doing at church has literally just unlocked a whole new level of like Bible study for me. Like I just feel like I read the Bible and see it in such an in-depth way that the journals that I currently have are too small for me to fully map out my thoughts, my revelations, my understandings on an A five page sorry i was saying a5 and a4 notebook so in the middle of all of that i don't know what happened like something glitched and then i came out with like three bags <laughs> i'm hoping this is the same space but to be fair guys i'm sick 
I'm sick, so surely I am allowed to have a little bit of retail therapy because guess what? I actually feel a whole lot better after spending my money, period. So without rambling anymore, let's quickly get into it. So first of all, obviously like I mentioned, I went to Clean Works. Um, you guys already know they give these bags, which are actually so expensive. They don't have plastic bags, they don't have paper bags, but they give you these like shopper bags. And um, the first thing I got, like I said, I had wanted a A4 book for my Bible study. And I got this book that says, You are chosen and loved. And I got it in mint green. I know this is not a common color for me. Like you guys would usually expect a light pink. But then this was the nicest one that I saw there. And um, I figured with my gray Bible, like my gray and gold Bible, the accents here would match. And the verse is, you are chosen and loved, Ephesians 1 verse 4. I just fell in love with this huge A4 notebook. And it was 99 Rand. They actually are running such a huge, insane special. Like, you remember the devotionals which I posted beginning of the year on my Instagram? All those devotionals are literally 50% off. Clearly meaning that if we want devotionals for 2025, we need to start buying now because they're now 50% off. But then along with that, I got these pens. So there was no need for me to buy pens because I already have so many. But I just loved how the green matched the green of the notebook and that they all had like cute little bible well not verses but then I guess biblical quotes on them which I just thought were really cute. I got colored pens as well just for me to like be the artistic girly, the creative girly that I am when I'm doing my Bible study because I don't like notes that are just bland and without color so I had to get myself some colored pens and then I also got me a mug so I've always had beef with Kumbok's mugs because like we love the verses, love a verse on a mug, like who doesn't? However, they're just always so busy. The flowers, the everything, like it's really giving grandma's cabinet. So when I came across this mug that was very minimal, um, well let me say borderline minimal because I feel like if I was to create cups, I would make them way, 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 way more minimal than this. But then um, this is the most minimal I've ever seen a Coom Books cup come as. And it has my bestie's favorite verse on it, Jeremiah 29, 11. I actually should have got her one. And it says hope and a future, obviously a quote from that verse in Jeremiah 29, 11. And I just really enjoy like the marble. I don't know if this is marble or like Whatever mixture of grey, white is going on, I just feel like this is so pretty. And if you've seen my Bible that's grey, this is grey and it has gold, and gold accents, the text is in gold. And then I have the green book that also has accents of gold. I feel like it's just all going to make sense aesthetically, you know? So, um, and something we're learning in my Bible course is that God is creative. Obviously, God is creative, but then we're learning, like, we're learning about that in depth. So every time I, like worry about aesthetics and like I pay attention to aesthetics I'm like oh my goodness am I being superficial but then I serve a creative God and he made me this way so period 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 aesthetics are important anyways moving right along I went to the fix and I saw this really pretty jumpsuit I can't try it on now because I'm in so much pain but um, I did try it on when I got it and um, when I came home, not in store, because I was like, mm -mm, I don't want to be trying this on in store if I'm not going to buy it. So I tried it on after buying it at home, and it looks so good. So it's this um, sleeveless jumpsuit that's white, and it's denim, and it's just gorgeous. And when I tried it on, it went past my ankles. Like, imagine this with a pointy heel. Like, this would really be such a cute girl's lunch kind of outfit. And then I also got this cute cropped jacket. What's a jacket, by the way? A shirt that's a jacket. Yes, this cute cropped jacket from the fix. It's really cute. I don't know why I I know very well that I have a fever and I'm still deciding to try this on. But then that's purely out of love for the coffee bean. Ow! 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 
Okay, I hope you guys can see it. Okay, you may not see the vision right now because I'm literally wearing it all over the gown. But then guys, I swear it really looks really good and I could really see it. With certain outfits, you guys will see. Keep your eyes peeled to the gram. You guys will see how I style it. And then I finally got this top from Fashini. So it's like, is it a crop? No, I don't think it's a crop. It actually could be a crop because it's gonna come all the way here. But it's such a cute top because I actually seen such a pretty um, pin outfit on Pinterest that has where the girlie is wearing like this kind of top that's like sleeveless with the collar and like a V neck kind of vibe. And when I saw this, I'm like, I just absolutely need to have it. Like I see myself wearing this with some black pants. I actually might wear this to my hair appointment tomorrow. But anyways, that's all in what I bought. Um, actually so shocked that I'm buying clothes because I told myself that I don't want to be buying anything. But like I said, uh, uh, I'm sick. I love that movie so much. If you get it, get it. If you don't, I, I love you so much, but then I'm judging you. But anyways, um, that's it for my haul. I'm not gonna take down my hair. It's so scary under here. I'm not even exaggerating. It is so scary. Like, because my hair is short, one of the braids even just slid off the front, just gave up like, ha-ha, huh? bestie, you're doing too much now, I'm out of here. So, <laughs> the braids bailed on me, came off, and it's just so untidy, man, and, okay, I was about to say, I was about to say, you know, that, that braid smell, I'm glad it's not there, but I feel like, because this duration of me being in bed, TMI, but I feel like I've been getting a whiff of, you know that braid smell when braids have been in for such a long time? And honestly, in the time I've had these braids, I actually haven't washed them. I'm not going to come here and lie. So it's just gross altogether. I need to get these braids off ASAP. So <laughs> let's take off these braids. Let's take off these braids. I was even calling you guys coffee beans. You guys remember her, the girlie who was detangling for two hours. Hey guys, what deep conditioner can I use? Hey guys, please suggest a silver free shampoo. Hey guys, detangle with me. Like she's she's fully back. <laughs> like get into this growth. Get into it. I miss doing this. Playing being like, oh guys, shrinkage is such a bore. Like I miss being that girl and it's actually crazy because shrinkage actually is such a bore because I finished undoing my hair like 45 minutes ago and the plan actually wasn't even to undo it off camera but then um, I got carried away watching Modern Family and then um, now I was just undoing the last braid and I'm like hey we're done and I come and look into the mirror and I'm like who secretly put extensions into my hair because then it was like a little bit more longer and area since I just taken it out but now the humidity has made it shrink a bit but you can still see like all this density like girl don't even play with me don't don't even play with, like don't play with me but anyways uh, in my 45 minutes I was actually watching a live sorry it's giving conceited because why can't I stop looking at myself in the mirror? I actually wish I had undone my hair like early in the week and just spent time with my hair. But no, tomorrow we're gonna go get braids done. But anyways, I was saying in my 45 minutes, I was watching a live by Sarah the Misfit. So I came across the video. I was about to say by mistake, but we know in Christ there are no mistakes. Amen. Period. So, um... I was watching a reel, one of Wumi Bello's reels, where she's like um, telling Uche like, no, you're not a star sign, we're not inviting witchcraft into our lives, whatever. I'm a Virgo, she's a Scorpio, Uche, right? I'm not a Scorpio, did you not watch the episode with the witch? Ex-witch? Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Sarah. Ex-witch? Oh, what? you are a Scorpio. No, babe. Wait, don't tell me. Babe. Don't tell me. No, tell I'm me. not a star sign. Excuse me, we're not inviting demons into our life anymore. Please. Oh. We've let go of this life. You're not a Virgo, Okay, for the pup. 
So she's like, oh, didn't you watch the video of Sarah? So I now went to the video where Wumi Bello was interviewing Sarah and Sarah was basically sharing her story of how she was into witchcraft and then her testimony of how she ended up in Christianity. And by witchcraft, I mean like all the things she spoke about was like astrology, the new age beliefs, like Satanism and even... Um, traditional like African spirituality you know and it was just so eye-opening because I love how I mean I do have a testimony similar to that but then I feel like she was way more deeper into it so she had way more knowledge of that other side of things and she was explaining it all because you know how some of these videos um, I feel like mine wasn't even as comprehensive but then people just tell you that oh this is bad this is bad but they don't actually tell you why or how these things work and she fully covered all of that and her salvation story and now she like hosts these lives on her instagram sarah the misfit where um she preaches she prays for people she shares words of knowledge and it's just such a wholesome space so if i'm not mistaken she's actually only doing it for this month but then god please make her continue to do it because wow what a diligent servant but um not me being conceited and just casually talking and just looking at myself in the mirror so i guess i just oh man but anyways um it's just so beautiful to watch and i just pray one day you know god gives me the grace and the wisdom to even tap into that space of like just imparting more onto people and i know it's gonna happen probably even sooner than later but um yo it's so beautiful because i mean now guys this is not a time for us to be lukewarm in our faith it's not a time for us to be um walking on eggshells when it comes to talking to our friends about jesus about christ about salvation because like the 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 our kingdom assignments are urgent like it needs to be done so all you lukewarm besties like y'all need to <laughs> and that's for me included like that's me included like i'm also working on myself so that god can i can be someone who god entrusts with like bigger um what's this thing bigger assignments and you know because i feel like she's just doing amazing she's got a whole mentorship program she has um, a whole community and in the lives as well like someone so devoted like it just makes me be like Clarissa what are you doing you give me and makes you just want to do more as well so it's just beautiful to watch but anyways so we're gonna go get a header gonna get a header <laughs> so let me just put up a net on because I do actually in fact have hair that I need to take care of and then do my skincare routine actually take a shower again and take my medication and i'll see you guys tomorrow i was a liar i gave into the fire i know i should have fought it at least i'm being honest feel like a failure because i know that i failed you i should have done you better because you don't want to lie and i know i don't want to know she gives you everything but, but i couldn't give it to you and i know i don't want to know that you got everything but i got nothing here without you like right this minute so that I actually arrive on time because my appointment is for 8 30 I'm so glad it's 8 30 because at first I said 8 but then I think like she needs time to prepare the braids and everything like that so if I say 8 then she'd have to come to work earlier that's my thinking so um I said 8 30 and I'm glad because my body was just so but I woke up early which I'm so proud of myself because I even woke up before my alarm I don't know if it's having a commitment in the morning that made me wake up but then nonetheless I'm feeling like myself again and 
And tell me why it's giving Trevor Noah. Like I was looking at myself in the mirror and I'm like, Trevor was found shaking. He literally has 48 hours to respond. But I honestly feel like I actually wish like vlogs could be in real time. Like, you know how people go live? I wish vlogs would be in real time and I could just have you guys give me opinions in real time. Because yesterday, I was besides myself not knowing whether I should engage Auntie Star for today. Because there's so much laundry that needs folding. Like, the clothes are clean, but there's so much laundry that needs folding. The fridge is dirty. The house is dirty. Like, it's tidy. Like, it's tidy. Tidy and clean are two different things clean means there's no dirt it's sanitary and it's clean tidy just means that everything is where it's supposed to be so you at first glance you walk in and you may think that oh it's clean but then i know i'm like mm, this place is not clean so i'm not sure if i should engage her because i think she actually increased her prices but now the thing is if i do engage her and then i have to pay for that but then I can also, I don't know, I'm trying to live more minimally these days. So the whole idea of paying someone for something I can do is starting to rub me the wrong way. You know, I'm like, Clarissa, why are you like, no, just do this. But at the same time, I love convenience. Hence, I'm going to get my hair braided and money to blow. Otherwise, in a different year, different universe, I would have been going to brown. But then, no, guys, in a way. Like, I'm trying to watch my Netflix, my Disney Plus, while there's Wi-Fi, while I'm getting complimentary drinks, while I'm relaxed because I'm not picking fiber like that's you see that's the life i was destined to live period so we're gonna go to money to blow and my uber is five minutes away which is stressing me out because that means i'm gonna arrive at 8 32 but two minutes not too bad but anyways let's go get braided besties Somebody like that. We can ride in the city on me. We can ride in the 